Hey guys, this is Tim. Welcome to the new episode of Gear Talk. In today's episode, we are going to be going over some additional Pro Expedition products that I tested out this fall. Now, let me make this very clear. I am not a pro staff with Pro Expedition. I am not endorsed by them. I am not supported in any way, shape, or form by them. I have purchased these products with my own money to try them out and today we're going to go over those results. So after doing some research guys, I talked to Larry up at Shooter's Lodge. He helped me out with getting some bait. So I got that secured. Then I had to find some type of an attractant. Now I have spoken with various outfitters, uh, one of them being an actual representative with Pro Expedition, but uh, after talking with him, talking with my friends down at Ursa Major down in Nova Scotia, I discovered that the sweet smell is something they're more attracted to in the fall versus any other types of smells. Great, not a problem. So what am I going to use? Now I used the blood drill rotten meat smell in the spring, but based on my research that's not going to work. So I started looking at products and after talking with Stephen, uh, who was a pro staff with uh, Pro Expedition, he suggested a couple of these products for me. So today we are going to talk about these products right here. We've got the toffee caramel, we've got the red velvet cake jam, and we have the blood trail sweet smell. So just doing a quick overview of the red velvet cake. It smells exactly as it is described, red velvet cake, and it is a very, very strong smell. It really hangs in the air and it is strong. Um, it comes in a four liter jug, it's what you see right here, four liters, and the price is $14.99 Canadian on the Pro Expedition website. If you go to other retailers, it may be different, but on the Pro Expedition site, $14.99. Um, it comes out in like a red jam syrup, and uh, uh, not real thick, it's, it's pretty runny and it's really really strong smelling i know that i went in after the first use um, to put up the stands and to check the stands or sorry i didn't put up the stands but i checked the stands and i made sure they were all secure and ready to go for hunting season and 30 yards away i could smell it as if i was still next to the bait and i hadn't even baited yet uh, so it does have a very very strong smell so next is the caramel. So this is the toffee caramel. This is a thicker jam or syrup, okay? And uh, it smells, and I'm sure it tastes exactly as it's labeled, toffee caramel. Uh, also comes in a four liter jug, $14.99 price Canadian as well off the Pro Expedition website. Um, because of how I'm using the, 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 the various jams, the red velvet, I used it and I poured it over the barrel Whereas this one was a lot thicker, it's not something that could easily be poured and then cover a large area. It kind of is rather thick. Um, so what I ended up doing with this one and how I approached it with my bait, making popcorn. Who doesn't love caramel popcorn? Well, I'm sure the bears do. So uh, through my popcorn maker, as I was making popcorn, I was pouring this into the butter tray heating it up to, to thin it out, and then pouring it on the popcorn, shaking it up and getting it mixed up, so that my top layer of bait was actually uh, a caramel popcorn, which the bears really seem to enjoy. And so last but not least is the long range attractant. So this is the blood trail. Now, unlike the version you saw me test in the spring, that was the rotten meat smell, that would gag a maggot. This, however, is the sweet smell, and what you will find is that this is just a uh, concentrated version of the red velvet. Um, it's, it's red as well, and uh, just it's the exact same smell, it's just it's a more liquefied, very, very thin, and a little bit goes a long way. Uh, in fact, when I ran, I temporarily ran out of the red velvet, and while I was waiting for about a week uh, for delivery, um, I was actually using this to help keep that smell in the site. And very simple, I was just putting on a rag high up in a tree. And I also, when I end up starting a second barrel to help draw attention to the second bait of barrel, I um, would spray a little on top 
and that just helped draw them. So the idea here, guys, is I started baiting sometime in August. I don't remember the exact date. But I was just throwing popcorn out there, and essentially what I was doing is I was just trying to get uh, something in the barrel, something to start drawing in attention. It was at that time just popcorn and a lot of popcorn um, and just waiting for the bears to come in. Uh, one bear did come in, he cleaned up the popcorn. I'm sure the squirrels and the mice had their share of the popcorn as well. But there was no real, real activity, like nothing you could, you know, want to really go in and hunt because you had committed bears coming in. Um, so about uh, the, around the 20th of August uh, is when I finally started putting out these attractants. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, there was a brief period where I had a, a slowdown in the bait. Well, that's because I ran out of the red velvet and I was waiting on two more jugs to come in. I had ordered it and I was waiting and I was using the uh, blood trail to help make up that smell difference. Um, so I was putting it up on a rag and I mean it was helping and I was spraying it a little bit on the barrels and it was helping, but it didn't seem to have it and I was I was sort of trying to figure out why that was. Look at this video clip right here, guys. Uh, the day I shot my bear, and what's the first thing he goes for? He goes for the red velvet on top of the bear. toffee caramel for a second here guys because it does not have the same strong pungent odor as the red velvet so what's good about it well I'll tell you this the bears for regular popcorn versus the caramel popcorn totally different reactions and when I say totally different reactions meaning that I could come back to a bait site and it still have regular popcorn laying about and not eaten but the barrels empty Whereas with the caramel popcorn, I was seeing less and less. Does that necessarily mean that caramel was the exact reason? No, but I'm sure it helped. It, it sweetened up the popcorn, which drew them in more. That food was something they liked, and so they kept going back. Well, that's it, guys. That is my review of the Pro Expedition products that I have tried out. Uh, obviously, they have a lot more for deer or moose as well on their website, so don't hesitate to check them out. I think if their bear products are this good, uh, hopefully their deer products will be too. I never got a chance to try those out this year. I'm trying out some other stuff, um, but uh, I, I think you guys will probably be just as happy with those as I am with the bear products. This is Tim from Gear Talk. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great day.